Probably should have opened this before I started filming. Ooh. Look. Hello. Welcome back to How to Hen. We are doing something. We're doing something slightly different today. It is not quite a crafting with cocktails because it's not really crafting so much as it is just sticking post-its onto a big bit of board. Basically, I'm going to show you a quick way to organize your life seems like a big statement, but that's how I feel about it. Organize your life. Well, at least your schedule and your routine. In these uncertain times with coronavirus keeping everyone pretty much in isolation, you're either working from home or you're not able to work just now, or if you're like me and you are a self-employed business owner who primarily works from home and online anyway, your life has not changed all that much apart from the fact that you can't go out for drinks anymore. However, what I'm about to show you is the way I have been organizing myself for a little while. I am a very visual person and so my calendar needs to be in front of me. So I'm gonna show you how I do that in a really quick, easy way. The only things that you need for this are some kind of large board. How big a board depends on how many days slash weeks you want to have in your calendar and the size of each square. This is quite big because I like to have at least six weeks on my calendar as opposed to the regular 30 days or whatever so that I can plan halfway through into the following month. This one came from Borders and was dead cheap super lightweight so you can stick it anywhere basically with a couple of command hooks you don't have to go drilling into your walls and it also comes in many many colors you don't have to use the white side you could just whatever side matches the color that you have in your house already so i'm going to use the white side because that's you can also choose to do it landscape or portrait i am going to do main portrait because the calendar i have on my wall already which i will show you a picture of now it's already a long ways. Post-its, you can choose to just do all the one color. If you like, you can choose to have two colors that are corresponding to a thing that you like. I am color coding mine because my husband works shifts and I try and work similar shifts to him so that we are off, you're never really off, off at the same time. So I know when I can schedule social things like seeing friends because I know that he'll be off work and we'll be able to do it whenever we are able to leave the house again. So because of that, I actually, use many colors of post-its and pens. I like to use colored pens because again, I color code what I'm writing depending on what it means. Green is stuff that is definitely happening, booked appointments, photo shoots. Red is stuff that is top priority and needs done, whether that's work stuff or house stuff, it's usually work stuff, needs to get done. Orange is stuff that needs to get done but it isn't top priority, so it's maybe household stuff that I've been putting off or just things that I really should be getting done in that day. And purple is stuff that I want to do. It's not really essential and it can be discounted or rescheduled if something else comes up, but it's stuff that I would like to get done in that day. It goes in in purple. Again, you don't have to do it like that. You can choose to organize it however you like. That's just how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my days of the week along the top here. So I have one post-it for every day. If you can just put them rough at first if you want, they are not in a straight line. I just wanted to make sure that they all fit. Sometimes it's easier to do it standing up and looking down because then you can actually see whether or not you're doing things in a straight line, which I often am not. If you have space and you've done seven and you have one more gap, you can always do another post-it here that says notes and then anything that you want as an extra scroll can go in there. The beauty of using post-its is that if you don't like your font, you can just take it off and do it again. Ralphie, I'm rather busy. Ralphie? His name is Alfie. Also helps if you've bought a cheap board not to lean on it because <laughs> now there are holes and dents in it. Okay. Alfie! No! No. No. Okay, once you have your days of the week, it's time to start with the actual days. When you want to start is up to you, obviously starting at the first of whatever month makes sense. First is Wednesday. So we're gonna start on Wednesday. My husband is on a day off, so I use this color for his days off. Then he's got two morning shifts. If you're particularly picky about straight lines, you may want to rule out some straight lines on this before you go, but I don't really care. <laughs> And two afternoon shifts. Remembering to leave this bit blank because this is your notes section. Actually, I just remembered that these were my days off colors, so I'm good. Night shift. And then the way a cycle works, he has four days off. So that's one cycle pretty much done. And I'm going to keep going like that until we're pretty much full. Ta-da! Once you've got your colors mapped out, then you can write in the number. So we've got our number one here. I'm gonna number 
all of the days. I also use a, an app called My Shift Planner, which lets me do the same sort of thing so that when I'm out and about and I don't have this, then I can do that. And I use that when I'm writing the dates to make sure that I have actually done the pattern correctly and I haven't, you know, absentmindedly put the wrong thing somewhere. Using the app also reminds me not to just keep writing numbers and I end up at the 42nd of April. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one month and we've got all this room. I actually did seven weeks and had spare room left over. Do You can do as many weeks as you have room for on your board. So I actually do have room to finish May as well. So April and May both fit on here. So you can make it two months. I don't think I'm going to do that because I'm not putting this on the wall. I'm just sitting on the floor, which means I'm never going to write on the bottom anyway. When we get down to the first, I'll probably peel a lot of these off and move these post-its up and then continue it down. That, the beauty of using post-its is that you can just take away the part of the month that you've used, move everything up, and then add the bottom half. So you've always got a sort of rolling month and a half on the board. Okay, so we're numbered now. The fun bit is writing in some stuff to do. So let's write some things. Got my color coordinated pens. Due to the coronavirus locking down the world, we don't really know if anything is definitely happening. Apart from the launch, the launch, of how to hen. Our online launch is happening on Friday the 10th of April. Woo! What you can also do is buy yourself some fun little additions, little stickers and sparkly things and nice stuff, and you can just go ahead and stick it right onto the thing. So this one, party tight. Mm. One says party tight. And then of course you just fill it out with whatever other plans you have. Four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30. Stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Seven o'clock, wrestle with myself loathing. I'm booked. If you're working from home right now, block off parts of each post-it for times, you know, when you're gonna be working, what time you're gonna get up and start, when you're gonna have your lunch, etc. Having some sort of routine at the moment will really help with your mental health and keeping you sane. Having all of this laid out in front of me also really helps me see wherever there's space for stuff that I've maybe been avoiding but I know that I should do right now, like cleaning out my wardrobes or cleaning out my fridge or cleaning my oven, mostly just cleaning things. And also making time for myself and things that I actually want to do. If you can look at your wall of post-its and you see a little space where there's nothing and there's something you're really wanting to do like just have a pamper afternoon to yourself where you put on a face mask and you watch your favorite film write that in there schedule time for yourself it's important so my process for putting everything together is to start with a to-do list so just get out what's in your head that you think you need to get done write it all down in a, a list pad what you can then do is look at your list pad put what is important to do this week into where it should go in this week and then once you've done that you can really look at your big picture board and say okay well out of this stuff that i've written to do this week i'm going to do all these things that i put on tuesday actually when i look at the rest of my week i can move that to next week it gives you a bigger picture of how much time you really do have especially right now this will get more filled in as time goes on, as things occur to me and I'm sitting at my desk going, ah, oh, holy sh I needed to do that. It will eventually appear on here, so it will fill up as we go. Color coded by shift so that I know when Ali's working and what my sort of rough hours are around that. Color coded by stuff that is definitely happening booked in other stuff that's important and stuff that is less important and just should get done. This works for me, it might not work for you, but I know I'm a super visual person, so I can have this just sitting on the floor or up on the wall and I can glance at it and I know really quickly what my weeks ahead look like, rather than having to go into an app on my phone, which I never check. So I hope that this can be helpful in bringing a little bit of structure and routine back into your life. If you would like to see more of me, not necessarily this, but just, you know, crafting things, drinking a lot. I am gonna start doing reaction videos as well so you and I can just sit and watch some vaguely bridal themed shows with a drink and laugh. Please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you can hear from me more in the future. Happy organizing guys and I will see you soon. Okay, love you, bye.